channel and today's video is going to be the products that I have used up for the month of March and I don't have a whole lot but I have my little basket here and if you're wondering about the new background setup and the echo sound um, if you follow me on Instagram you will know what's going on but basically my husband and I are moving back to our house that we put on the market a year ago um, it has not sold and so we are going to resume living here it's just a little bit easier for my husband to get back and forth to work from this location than it was from the location that we were currently living at and we feel like that house it's a smaller home and therefore you know we wouldn't have to have a big price tag on it that it would sell a lot quicker than what this house is um, this house if you don't know it's a very big house and there's just not a whole lot of people that need a huge house in this day and age I guess and anyway whatever the case may be we didn't sell it so we're moving back and this location little setup right here is just temporary until I get um, everything readjusted and get everything moved anyway I want to go ahead and do my empties because if I keep waiting it's going to be July before I get them done so anyway so first of all I have these little wipes these are the Apple original clean wipes the face facial cleansing towelettes I find these at um, Big Lots I really like these because they have a rough texture to them so I use them to I'm spot cleaning my brushes when I'm putting on my makeup of the morning so I like my wipes to have some texture they were two dollars and fifty cents for um, 36 towelettes so that was a good price so if you're looking for some some facial wipes I would recommend looking at Big Lots, Marshalls, you know places like that Next, I have this product from the Up and Up brand, which is Target's generic brand, and this is a spray lotion in cocoa butter. And it's compared to the Vaseline Spray and Go Moisture Cocoa Radiant. This was on clearance. Um, looks like this here, so I don't know if this is still available or not. But I actually really did enjoy using this. I used it all. I'm not a lotion person at all I don't like putting lotions on I don't like the way they feel on my skin but this was really nice for when I got out of the shower I sprayed it on and then by the time I walked from the shower to my bedroom it was pretty much you know dry absorbed and then I could put my night clothes on at that time without feeling sticky or feel like I was suffocating so um, I would probably purchase something like this again um, right now I'm going to be trying a in shower body lotion from Nivea I think it is I just ordered it on Ulta so I'm gonna give that a try before I repurchase this but if that doesn't work out for me then I definitely will be repurchasing this spray lotion I did like that this right here is the catwalk the Tigi catwalk curls rock amplifier and I will definitely be repurchasing this. I like to put this in my hair when I would wear it up. It kind of helped to keep everything in place and kept, kept it from falling down. So I did like this. It didn't take very much. Just a one little pump. And I've had this for a long time. So it lasted a really long time. I hope they still make that. Anyway. Deodorant, this is the degree um, clinical protection. Like I've said before, I can't do a natural deodorant. I have to have some powerful stuff. So anyway, from Lush, this is the Rose Argon body conditioner, the skin conditioner. This came in a kit that I got for Christmas, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before. And I do like this product, but it's very expensive, like the big tub of it. So definitely won't be purchasing it but if it comes in a kit that would be something I would consider if it was in the kit what we got here okay this right here is a perfume this is my Calvin Klein Euphoria Blossom 
and this is also in my um, 2016 project pan so I did finish that Another product that was in my 2016 project pan was the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundations. I have them in the colors 51 and 52. 51 was more of a better match for my skin tone. Um, I really did enjoy this foundation and would definitely consider purchasing it again. Again, that was the Healthy Mix, the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I like the fact that it had the pump. And then it had the mechanism in there where it was like a vacuum and as you use the product it kept pushing it up toward the top so that you were able to get every last drop out of your bottles so, like that um, oh. here's another product from my project pan and this is the wet n wild um, brulee eyeshadow i did completely finish that um, I'm not going to repurchase. I just wasn't that crazy about it. I know there's a lot of people like it. Then I have these two products here that were in a Mimi box, and it's the Migby Hot Pour Peeling System and the Migby Cooling uh, Mask Clean 3 in 1. And um, I use these in the shower. This one, definitely the Hot Pour, when you put it on your face, it definitely would heat up a little bit and really felt like it was exfoliating this was more like a clay and i didn't really care for this one but this one i did care for i liked that one but um i'm not for sure on the cost on those because they were in a mimi box but anyway that's those there and let's see this little guy here this was from it cosmetics this was the brow pencil um you remember I hauled this not too long ago I had two of them one of them I barely got to use just did one eyebrow and it was completely empty and then this one didn't last very long at all so I do not recommend these from the it cosmetics there's just not a lot of product and they're too expensive so no on that what I'm almost done and then the last product I have here is my makeup setting spray from Urban Decay. It's the all-nighter. use this every morning to set my makeup and definitely will be repurchasing that like that. So anyway, that is it for my empties for this month. I um, hope you enjoyed. I did not include any sheet mask. Those will be in a following video where we'll be doing a sheet mask review on the mask that I've used for the last couple weeks. So be looking for that. Anyway, thank you so much and talk to you soon. Bye.